Hi, I'm Monica Hanos. I'm the clinical social worker at Pediatric Home Service in the social work department. Within the social work department, we offer mental health counseling and social services. I've been here for seven and a half years and love meeting all our different patients and their families and providing helpful interventions that they can use every day. Today I'm going to talk about what's in my bag and what I use in my different roles here at PHS. First, we'll talk about social services. When I go out to the home to do a social work visit, I bring my bin. Um, it's something that I can write on. It's hard, um, so I can sit on the floor while I'm meeting with families or at a kitchen table or on the couch or um, wherever is most comfortable for the families. Um, within that, I have a notebook so I can take notes. I have different pens, highlighters when we're completing applications. I have an er eraser when we're doing applications and making mistakes. I also have um, a lot of different paperwork, which includes our social work plan, just stating that we're working together. Uh, we have a social work needs assessment, so I can understand um, and make sure I'm covering all the resources a family might need and so I can refer them appropriately. We have a release of information that I use often so that I can appropriately refer families um, to different county agencies and different um, school district um, programs and get them in the right direction. With that, we also have a list of helpful resources for new families getting um, discharged from a hospital, and so um, some um, resources that we like to hook families up to if they hadn't heard about them already. And then there's a lot of questions within home care about uh, home care nursing and um, personal care assistance. And so we've developed a resource for families um, to answer a lot of their questions and so I can help work through those questions with them through that. So that is what I bring on a home visit and now we'll move into mental health services. I do work um, with families and we do play therapy in our play therapy room but here's um, a little um, snippet of what I might work with kids um, in play therapy. So we might have different masks. This one is Spider-Man and Hulk. Oftentimes it's easier to um, process um, grief and loss or trauma or any other things that they're struggling with as Hulk or Spider-Man instead of as themselves. We also have um, baby dolls. This one has a feeding tube and so kids can kind of process what they have gone through if they're struggling with any kind of medical trauma. We talk about a lot of feelings and emotions in mental health. These are some flashcards to talk about um, the different feelings. So here's brave or sad and what does sad look like? What can you do when you're feeling sad? So we use these often. Um, regarding medical trauma, we have a lot of um, supplies. Um, here we have some band-aids and some wipes. We also have, um, this is little, some lab draw items. We have syringes and um, tubes and needles. They're not real, um, but it's something that kids can process if they're scared about them or not understanding what's happening. We have blocks, so working through boundaries or setting things up and knocking them over. We have dolls, talking about home life, processing. Um, it can also be nurturing. We have musical instruments. This is accessible to most kids. They're able to make noise. Um, we have this is an ambulance. We have other cars. Um, talking about transportation, a lot of the kids that I see have been rushed to the hospital or they see a brother or sister um, getting an ambulance ride and so they might use this. We have tools, we have flashlights, um, which could be um, looking at things differently. 
We have hairbrush, talking about nurturing. Um, we also do a lot of deep breathing and calming activities. And so here's um, a breathing ball that um, mimics um, the breath you should be making while you're taking deep breaths, breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. So kids can kind of mimic that and slow down their breath as needed. We also have bubbles to help with that too. Um, I'm processing that. And then uh, we have, I clean up all our toys um, and make sure it's as clean as possible and germ free. And then kids use hand sanitizer. Kids and myself use hand sanitizer before and after any session. And then within mental health services, I also provide sibling support program, um, which is a 12 week program for kids six to 11. And we do a lot of arts and crafts. And so we have paint and scissors and glue here. We have markers, um, lots of paper, um, whether it's writing their, down their expressions or doing art activities. And then within that program, we also provide a healthy snack. So here we have a pear and some mixed nuts. And then we do a lot of um, reading within the sibling support group or during play therapy. And this one's about, it's okay to be different. And I always bring my phone um, in case I need to get a hold of anybody for safety. I also have um, something called the calming app and so it helps kids um, take deep breaths and kind of be present before they leave the playroom. It's also something that they can use with their parents outside of the playroom. So here it's just um, a visual for them when to breathe in, hold their breath and breathe out. And so this is a way that they can practice and do some mindful breathing. And that's all I have in my bag today. Please leave any comments or questions below and click here for more what's in my bag videos.